Welcome back to the Survival Triangle. We are on our second time around the triangle. And today, we'll be talking about shelter. Part 2. There are many things that we could talk about that could cause you to leave your permanent shelter. It is time for you to get with your family and make some decisions. In a significant life-altering event, there may be a time when you have to leave your primary residence. You will ask yourself, where do I go and what do I bring? Many will have the option of staying with friends, but what if they too are involved in the event or they simply have no room? Many people's first thought is a emergency shelter, but what if there's no emergency shelter available? You could consider a motel chain where prices can be as low as $24.99 per night, but what about a local motel that is privately owned? They will have a much deeper commitment and understanding of the community and may even extend a helping hand. Well, that's a very good point, Zion, but what happens if everything is gone? and you're down to your basics, just what you have on hand. Trash bags can be used to carry many items just like a backpack could. You could use it for waterproof clothing and even insulation in a cold, damp environment. While plastic tarps can be used to create shelter in the form of tents or lean-tos or simply to insulate your body from the ground. Prior to the chaos, you may have prepared a few items for that just-in-case scenario. You may have brought linen so that regardless of where you go, you have something to sleep on and even keep you warm. And of course, you have brought your medications because your health will guide you through the event. You may have brought comfort food, knowing that the children may be upset and scared. Though the food is not home, it reminds them of home. We hope that this short video will be helpful in you deciding on some temporary shelter. Start planning now in the event of an emergency.